Welcome to Mindfulness Minutes. I'm Carol Lewis, mindfulness teacher and faculty member in the UF Department of Psychiatry. Please mute your microphones on telephones or any other devices you might be using, and we'll get started. Today, our practice will include a loving kindness meditation or practice and a mindfulness poem called Whatever Doesn't Serve by Dana Foles. Poetry is very traditional in mindfulness practices. I invite you to close your eyes gently as you sit in a dignified and upright posture. <clears throat> if you prefer to have your eyes open, please find a non-moving point, uh, just a little in front of you, not on another person to focus on and let your gaze rest there very gently. If you have a mindfulness practice of your own, please feel free to let my words fall on you like the gentle rain as you engage in your own practice. I'll ring the mindfulness bells three times at the beginning and three times at the end of the practice. And so let's begin. Allowing yourself to settle in to that dignified, upright, and yet comfortable posture. Settling in. Bringing awareness to the breath. Perhaps noticing as it comes in waves. Noticing the in-breaths and noticing the out-breath. No need to hold the breath. Let the breath flow gently. Perhaps noticing the coolness of the breath as it enters the body on the in-breaths. And noticing the warmth of the breath as it leaves the body on the out-breath. Letting the breath be just as it is today, without need for it to be different in any way. Allowing and softening. No need to struggle. No need to control. No need for great effort. Simply noticing the breath on the inhales and the exhales. And 
and allowing them to be just as they are without need for them to be different in any way. We are noticing the breath and the coolness of breath on the in-breath and the warmth of the breath on the out and just letting it be as it is today. You might notice the breath at the nose. You might notice the breath at the chest. Perhaps you notice the breath as it comes into the abdomen and as it leaves, coming in those gentle waves. And allowing the body to be just as it is today, without needing it to be different in any way. And for these few minutes during our practice today, allowing yourself to just be rather than do. <laughs> Letting the natural rhythms of the body and the breath becomes steady and even. As you settle into being rather than doing, allowing these few moments for just this, And when you notice that your mind has wandered, that is the nature of the mind. Allow yourself to gently notice the wandering thoughts and gently bring awareness back to the breath, to the body as many times as might be needed during this practice. Each time that you've noticed the wandering mind or the wandering thoughts, you've returned to present moment awareness. So noticing whatever's needed on this day to bring awareness back gently present moment. And if you like, letting go of the awareness of the breath and just allowing yourself to notice thoughts as they come and go in the mind. Noticing thoughts without being swept away by them, without developing them further. Allowing the thoughts to be just as they are, without need for them to be different in any way, but also without being swept away Perhaps you notice thoughts of 
other times and places. There may be thoughts of what you were doing earlier in the day. Perhaps thoughts of other things that need to be done later on this day or another day. You may find thoughts of sounds in the room or outside of the room. Or perhaps you find thoughts of physical sensations of some kind or other thoughts. The thoughts are opportunities for practice in present moment awareness. And when you notice a thought, you might say in your mind, thinking, thinking, there's thinking. As you then gently let the thought float away, perhaps imagining that it's a cloud in the sky or the leaf floating gently downstream. Just observing thoughts as they come and as they go. Allowing them without being swept away. allowing and softening as you remain in this present moment just as best you can without judgment without struggle No need to control anything, including thoughts. No need to force anything. Letting the body and the mind be just as they are today, in this moment. without need for them to be different in any way. Holding the mind and the body gently. Bringing compassion to the body and compassion to the mind. allowing the mind and the body to be light. Bringing gentleness to yourself. Now for our loving kindness practice, we will bring compassionate wishes for ourselves, for others. So we'll be using affirmations. So I will say through just follow along in your own heart and mind. And so first, I 
I'd like you to think of someone with whom you have a close relationship. <clears throat> It doesn't matter <clears throat> whom you pick. Because they represent all of the people with whom you have close relationships. And so while holding that person in your heart and mind, We will put these wishes out for them. May you be at peace. May your heart remain open. May you awaken to your own true nature. May you be healed. And may you be a source of healing for all beings. And perhaps taking a moment to come back to gentle breath. Noticing inhales, outhales, and letting them be just as they are. As we experience this moment, So now in our loving kindness practice, <clears throat> I'd like you to think of someone neutral. Someone you know of <clears throat> as a distinct individual, but with whom you don't have a significant relationship. This might be a neighbor that you wave at occasionally, your mail person delivers the mail. Perhaps it's someone that you see at the grocery store. And again, it doesn't matter who you choose because they represent all other people. But holding this person who represents all other people in your heart space and in your mind, we'll put these wishes out for them. May you be at peace. May your heart remain open. May you awaken to your own true nature. May you be healed. May you 
be a source of healing for all beings. And again, taking a moment to return to breath. The in breath and the out breath. Allowing ourselves to be just in this moment. with kindness and compassion. And so our loving kindness practice. Next, we'll bring wishes of loving kindness to ourselves. And so while thinking of yourself, and while we think of ourselves, and hold ourselves gently, we'll put these wishes forward. May we be at May our hearts remain open. May we awaken to our own true nature. May we be healed. And may we be a source of healing for all beings. And once again, taking just a brief pause to bring awareness back to the breath. Noticing the in-breath with gentle curiosity and noticing the out-breath. Allowing ourselves to be right here, right now, as best we can. So the final part of our loving kindness practice is to bring compassionate wishes to someone with whom you've had a hostile relationship or someone with whom you've had conflict. They can represent all of the people that you've had conflict with. This could be recently, or this could be historically in the past. And so now holding this person who represents all of those with whom you've had conflict or some hostility in your relationship, holding them gently in your heart space in your mind, we will put these wishes out for them. May you be at peace. May your 
heart remain open. May you awaken to your own true nature. May you be healed. And may you be a source of healing for all beings. So now allowing ourselves once again to return to the breath, simply noticing the in-breaths and the out. No need to force them or control them. And to finish our mindfulness practice today, I'll read a poem called Whatever Doesn't Serve by Dana Folds. And if you want, you can just let the words all on you like gentle rain. Whatever doesn't serve. What weight can you put down right now? Willingly relinquishing the pointed quills of guilt or judgment. What burden of the heart can lift? What dark corner can be lit? The candle flickering at first and then burning bright. With the next breath, let it go. That old story you've told yourself a million times. What doesn't serve you on this path of truth? Leave it behind. Offer this one gift. the simple sacrifice that in the giving sets you free to fully live. And allowing yourself to just be for another moment in present moment awareness. the in-breath and the out-breath, which are always available as an anchor to help us return to present moment awareness. And in your own time, when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes if they've been closed. Perhaps taking just a moment to notice how are things in the body and how are things in the mind. And take 
the benefits of this practice with you through the rest of the day. Thank you for joining me.